Honda Odyssey minivan, you've done it again! In preparation for the subfloor, I'm filling up these holes that were made by the bolts that kept the seats down. The purpose of filling these holes is to keep dirt and moisture from underneath the bus as you're driving down the road and coming up into your subfloor. This stuff that they use originally on the edges has held up really well, but this is just <laughs> like a just in case type thing. I've caulked all of these holes. I've caulked some of the edges and there's some white stuff and some blue stuff and some clear stuff and it's not pretty but I'm not gonna have to look at it for all that long. All the Muslims are dancing on Old Hancock Street and I'm listening for your footsteps instead. And oh, The foam we're using here is called XPS foam. We bought it at Lowe's and it's half an inch thick and has a shiplap edge which prevents air from seeping through. This foam is often sold at Home Depot or Lowe's in 15 psi and 25 psi variants. For this application we felt that 25 psi would be better as it would be able to handle more weight which spread out over plywood shouldn't be an issue. What we're making is called a floating subfloor. We're basically making an insulation and plywood sandwich with glue instead of framework or screws. This allows us to prevent thermal breaks in our insulation. If you're willing to sacrifice more headspace in your bus conversion, you should consider buying a much thicker foam. For more tips about how to insulate your bus, check out buslightindia.net, which is linked to in the description. For plywood, we bought 5 8 of an inch CDX. We would have liked to have found a tongue and groove product, but we could only find it in 3 quarters of an inch, and we didn't want to lose that additional space. I'm sleeping with a voice in my head It goes on, on, on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. For adhesive, we used large tubes of PL Premium, which is good for foam board. We used a bit less than one large tube per surface, so if you have a 40 foot bus, you'll need a bit less than 20 tubes. When you install your plywood, you want to have it so that your seams don't match up with the foam board. We weighed down the subfloor with bags of concrete. We were aiming for about 700 pounds per plywood sheet. We let the adhesive cure for 24 hours and then moved on to the next piece of subfloor. And just like that, our subfloor days was over.